Hi guys, this is Tope. And this is Nicole. And, and welcome, welcome to Tribe. Tribe. Let's go back in time to the different international newspapers published during the Spanish Civil War. And take a peek at this historic moment in world literature. Three years filled with insurmountable tragedy which marked the history of Spain as the Iberian Peninsula became the chessboard of ideologies from July 1936 until 1939. The Spanish Civil War was a war of propaganda and journalism with writers who recounted the ravages of battle becoming major writers in the 20th century. This exhibit is a good example of uh, the work of uh, very interesting correspondents who later would become uh, major names in the world literature like Hemingway, John Dos Passos, Indro Montanelli from Italy, uh, Saint Exupéry, different writers, Miguel Hernández from Spain, different writers who were uh, uh, acting as correspondents. Uh, during that war. Cruz González en la Guerra de España, or Correspondence in the Spanish Civil War, is a traveling exhibition sponsored by the Instituto Cervantes, presents a collection of photographs, wartime newspapers, and books published which documented the lives of the international correspondents during their sojourn in Spain, and among them was Miguel Hernández. This is an exhibit about the correspondence, and uh, who was not exactly a correspondent, he was more a, a propagandist. Uh, her, his mission uh, during the war was uh, to encourage the troops, the republican troops, against uh, fascism and uh, mainly writing, for instance, uh, poetry and, and so on. We have tried to connect this uh, exhibit with uh, his activity as a journalist. The Spanish Civil War was a major event in Spanish and European history and its effects could still be felt up to the present and it had heralded the start of the rise of war photography and photojournalism in the 20th century. Pues yo creo que el significado de esta exposición sobre todo es la fuerza del relato, de la narración. Vivimos en un mundo de imágenes in a world of photography and television, and this is the last great war that is still being told. The meaning and the importance uh, and the, the, the thing that makes this uh, ex exhibition special is the power of words. Here in this exhibit we see that uh, the, the chronics, the reports they were writing, it was nearly like literature. It was um, very well written. And it's the last word where they, we have chronics and we have um, the correspondence where writers, it was a mixture between literature and journalism. 30 original newspapers, articles and facsimiles, 83 photographs taken from various sources which chronicled the events during the Spanish Civil War. Famous correspondents who later became big names in the world of literature, Ernest Hemingway, John Dos Passos, Michel Koltsov, Mario Neves, Antoine Saint-Exupéry, and many others. Some of the major events chronicled in this exhibition were the massacre of Badajoz, making the Alcazar of Toledo, the bombing of Guernica and the Battle of Teruel, as well as features of historical interviews from General Francisco Franco in early August 1936 or of the Buenaventura Duruti shortly before his death. As a Spanish novelist, Ignacio Martinez de Pison Cavero derives inspiration from current events and history, and he has written some manuscripts which detailed some events during the Spanish Civil War. The Spanish Civil War is not so far away in the time, because uh, there are some consequences that we still suffer, or we still feel, uh, and that proceeds from, from, from that time. Seventy years later, there is still a strong controversy in Spain about the civil war. We don't have an, a social agreement about what happened and about the, uh, how um, people um, made the things in those terrible three years. It's interesting because I never knew that uh, famous writers could talk about the, this, this war in Spain. A moment in history that also defined those who are, uh, how would I call it, for freedom and those who were opposed to it. Very, very interesting, no? I think uh, um, this is uh, so timely and relevant and, and uh, it's uh, 
it's about the time that we also uh, learn about uh, historical uh, events that have uh, really shaped, in a sense, you know, the the way uh, the whole contemporary world has also uh, uh, been affected and where it has led. Take a trip back in time through the eyes of the great writers and their surviving works, historical references of a bygone era, testimonials of the golden age of foreign correspondence.